Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mauer Doctor here with another review. Today I'll be continuing on with my malware removal series. And also as a programming note, I do not believe I'm going to continue to call each of these videos parts because at first I thought I was going to be going to do one or two of these videos and now it's looking like I might do 9, 10, 11 or even more malware removal videos. And at some point, it becomes the equivalent of labeling all of my antivirus reviews as part one, part two, part three, and then you end up with 100 reviews, 100 parts, and it just is too confusing to keep track of the videos that way. And I figure all these malware removal videos have their own identities. Besides them being tested on the same infected virtual machine, they're all pretty much separate from one another, so I think they can be labeled as such, so I'm going to get rid of the parts from the titles of my previous malware removal videos. But moving on to today's review, I'm going to be testing Trend Micro House Call. It is a free scanner that you can download from Trend Micro's website. Now I should note this is the second time that I have tested Trend Micro's House Call in the last week. The first time I was having problems with the virtual machine, so about halfway through the video I had to completely scrap it, and I decided I was going to pick it back up today. Something that I decided in the last video that unfortunately was not complete is that I would install a few more pieces of malware onto the computer to keep it more up to date, if you want to call it that. So I've installed a few additional pieces of malware on this computer, so hopefully it'll be a little bit more difficult for a product to perform well on it. However, that still doesn't mean that it can't do very well at removing the malware that's on the computer. But anyway, if we go on the Trend Micro's website, it gives us a little bit of information about this product. This on-access scanner has been available to the public for a while. Here's a version, we are on version 7.1. And if we actually check, I don't know, it might say it on the executable file when you launch the program, what version is, but I don't currently see a version on here. Maybe it'd be under, nope. But regardless, I did download it from Trend Micro House Call's website, and it looks like I'm probably gonna have to download that again, but might as well just go for the whole walkthrough. We have different scan options, um, smart scan technology, so they do utilize cloud components with Trend Micro House Call. And just as a walkthrough of downloading the program, we go on their website. We will ignore that offer. Now the executable is only about two megabytes in total size, so it's pretty light. Now it's just checking for component updates. This is a screen that we were looking at just when the review began. Before we click scan now, we can just quickly check settings. We can run a quick scan, which is recommended, a full or custom scan. I'm going to run a full scan because I have so far run a full scan of all my malware removal videos. And I figure if someone is trying to clean malware off their computer, they would not hesitate to run a full scan to make sure it really gets in there and cleans any infections that are in the system. And they also have smart feedback that'll submit more files that could be potentially dangerous to Trend Micro. I don't believe this will actually impact the performance of Trend Micro House Call on the computer. Specifically, I don't think that disabling this will disable the cloud feature, but regardless, we will keep that smart feedback enabled. Just to double check, we're going to run a full scan. I'm gonna click OK. So right now we are set to run our full scan. And if you have not already watched my previous videos, like I said, this is an infected computer. Task manager is disabled in the normal Windows operating mode. Firewall keeps being disabled. And there are a lot of startup programs. Uh, there's also a few registry cleaners that I also threw into the mix that I would classify as potential wanted programs or adware, depending if you would depending how you want to call it. I'll also throw in a few additional pieces of malware into the mix to keep it interesting. So on that note, we are going to run the scan, and then once this full system scan is complete, I will be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. That scan took quite a while, but Trend Micro has finished scanning. It appears to detect 139 items. 
Under action, it's set to fix all of those items. Here's just a couple that it has set to ignore. However, if Tremicro has made a decision to ignore those files, then we will allow it to ignore such files. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fix all the items that Tremicro has found. And then I will restart into normal Windows operating mode. I will run some scans and then I will be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. I just want to show that House Call has already fixed 116 threats. 18 threats will be fixed when the computer restarts and 5 threats will be ignored. And I'm going to restart the computer now and I will be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. Hitman Pro finished scanning. Here's it found a couple items from program data. Something in App Data Local, Pierce Bit Defender and Kaspersky both picked up on that thread. Something in Temp, several items in Temp here, even though I already ran a scan with CCleaner. Something in Windows, something on the desktop, so these two I would not be too concerned about. Something in Windows, Program Data, and we have, let's see. In this FLV player in in App Data, and I actually have seen this FLV player online in my own personal experience before, so I know this is a legitimate threat that I've seen around. But and we also have this something in App Data Local, but both of them are temp. And then we have a few tracking cookies. If we look at Marabyte scan results. We see they have detected 99 malicious items and 902 non-malware items were detected. Here's they detected this potential wanted program. And we go up a little bit. Trojan MSIL registry value. Uh, here's we have a Zbot piece of spyware. I'm not sure if it's affiliated with the Zbot Trojan, but and we also have something Trojan.msil. And another potentially unwanted program, the smart bar. And then something that's hijacking our start page. And I also ran a scan with super anti spyware, which has interestingly, I don't know if it's been removed from the computer here. This is pretty strange. I just minimized out of Super Anti Spyware scan results probably about 15 20 minutes ago, and it appears it has perhaps even been uninstalled from the computer. Here's something might have. It's actually just going in the computer here. And let's see. Right, that's strange. I don't know why we are not able to open up Super Anti Spyware here, but it did detect, I believe, 18 malicious items. It appeared that there were a few temp files. And also, something very similarly strange happened to Norton Power Racer as the scan was finishing. It appeared that it was terminated, and the executable shortcut was deleted from my removal tools folder, which I found very strange. So definitely could be the result of malicious activity because I have never seen that happen before. And this shortcut was working perfectly fine before I ran any scans. So yeah, I, I would assume it has something to do with the, the malware that I have installed on the computer with this latest review. And also if I try and open up Task Manager here, can see that it is being killed off every time we try and open it up. We can do this all day and it will just continue to, to kill off Task Manager. If we go under MS Config, you see we have several startup entries that are still in the computer here. Here we have a few additional ones, being that I have installed a couple additional pieces of malware in this review. And pretty much all of these are no good.
So my final thoughts on Trend Micro House Call. While I do believe it did help remove a few pieces of malware, I believe it didn't remove quite enough for my liking. Definitely, I would not go with Trend Micro House Call as my first choice scanner. However, if you wanted to run it as a third or fourth opinion scanner, I don't really see a problem with that. However, if you're looking to clean a computer quickly, I would not recommend Trend Micro House Call as your first option. So I think that'll be about it for this review. Take from as you wish, and I will talk to you later. Bye.